I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. I should definitely go and do, I need to go do the adventures, right? Like I have nine Heart of Thorns mastery points. Now, the good news is, is of course, I have all of the living world, right? And living world has a lot of mastery points to get. I can probably get most of the mastery points just by doing stuff like that. I'm gonna have to do a few slightly annoying Path of Fire ones, I think, because it's a little bit tight now that you have the skimmer eight point extra thing here. Uh, here, because it wasn't really designed for that, but now we have that. I'm a little bit worried about the experience, but actually not really for Heart of Thorns. Um, this is the only big XP grind left for HOT, is the New Hawk Alchemy. Uh, I think it's like three, four mil XP or something ridiculous like that. Uh, the Ancient Magics are actually very easy. Uh, raids, are, you, you just need about two million. That's not really that bad. Um, so yeah, basically, yeah. Once this is done, we're in the clear. Uh, and the key is just going to be having enough mastery points to kind of keep up with our experience. So, yeah. That is pretty good, I guess. I'll tell you what, though. While we're here... Ah, there we go. There is that mastery point from that gin. Let's go do that. Here we go. Hi, Elder Zomi the Accomplished. Let's answer some fun questions. Answer these riddles. What about this? When I go, I might reveal a gift. When I return, I can provide a lift. What am I? The tide. Okay. Unseen and silent, I arrive in the night. Friendly or frightening, I flee at first light. What am I? A dream. A, a dream. Good. Ha. To paupers and kings, I give just the same measure. When I'm spent as I'm given, they can't hold this treasure. What am I? Time. What I reveal is your choice, but you'll find that after reflection, I'm not always kind. What am I? Ooh. A mirror. Could have been... I almost felt that could have been the truth as well, actually, in a way. Mastery point obtained. Lovely. Right, and I have two more insights that I've been tracking for ages, and I'm going to get rid of them, or I'm going to go insane in the desolation. Hooray! We did it. There it is. Mastery point done. There we go. 21 mastery points. That's another 11 to go. 11 mastery points. And we are done with Path of Fire. Path of Fire, one of the biggest expansions, of course, in Guild Wars 2. Some would say Path of Fire 1. Some would say when Path of Fire released, it became God. Many would say that. So the only other thing that I kind of need to do that's in any way special is going to be doing a raid. We need to do one raid. I'll just do Veil Guardian or something. I don't know. Because once we do that, then that will unlock the raid mastery. I don't have to do any more raids. We have to do one. So we can get our antique summoning stones. Oh, this is honestly like the best part of the week, dude. Look at that. Look at all that value. We're just soaking up. You love to see it. Five antique summoning stones. Mmm, lovely. Oh, and exciting news, actually. To start things off, before I forget, one, my grow lamp actually activated. So now I have a grow lamp, which I need for the sky scale a little bit later on, sure which is good. Uh, more importantly than that, uh, I... What I've been doing uh, every day is handing in materials to the the char NPC in Drizzlewood Coast. Uh, you know, basically the material exchanges for commendations. And today is the final day where I have to remember to do that. This is it. Ice Brood Saga is done. Check this out. Here we go. Are you ready? This will be the final... Mo oh, I hope so. I think I calculated it right. Uh, but this should be it. Here we go. Here comes the exchange, and we need to buy the Char Commendations and the Frost Legion Commendations, because this is the last mastery point we need. Death to the Corrupted, as you can see here, for finishing this off. And we need another 300-odd um, 
commendations, and this should be more than enough. 250 plus 125, so let's do that. Okay, here we go. And there it is. Boom. We have officially completed and fully mastered the Ice Brood Saga. Getting a decent bit of loot in there as well. Actually, we get another two Mystic Clovers for fully completing that reward track. Um, yeah, alongside some bunch of other random stuff, I guess. So there it is. Boom. Easy. Bit of free gold. I'd uh, love to see that. And more importantly, there it is. <laughs> Definitely one of the more annoying ones to max out. Funnily enough, I am actually going to get it relatively early on, I guess exactly halfway in the regions, but there it is. 386 mastery rank, Ice Brood Saga fully completed. Nothing else to do there. Uh, we've also got some XP that we can use on the skim amount, so here comes another 8 mastery points, 394, done. And of course, we're actually nearly done with uh, getting the Griffin. In fact, we can fully master the Griffin. We need 12 mastery points for the Griffin. We have 13. So just by playing a bunch of Path of Fire content, um, we can just spend another 12. Maybe even get that fully unlocked today, actually. That would get us, you know, over 400. New Hawk Lore is also nearly done. Um, and that will get us another 12 points too. And then we're going to go on to Ancient Magics. So today, um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, before I actually forget to do this, let's go and actually feed the sky scale a bunch of random stuff and give it the grow lamp. Because I actually do want to make sure we have all of the sky scale stuff done um, as quick as possible. Because again, we're time gated on that, so we need to get rid of that time gate as quick as possible. However, I should get it tomorrow, I think. Right? Um, I should be able to have everything done tomorrow. I think. Yeah, because this is day two of the meme time gate. And then day three will actually complete it. So I do need, this is actually relevant, well, for this challenge, it is anyway. I must complete this today. It needs to happen. Um, yeah, yeah, that needs to be the case. We've got to have all the toys done. We have the grow lamp already enabled. Um, and we just need to make sure that the food is ready. Right, okay, here you go. Have a treat. Oh, d are you kidding me? Did I, did I actually miss? Okay, no, that doesn't work. Right. Okay, have a treat. Boom. I might as well do this. Free up some inventory space while we're here. Look, oh my, look at that. It's brutal. It's just, look, look at this, guys. Seriously, check this out. When you throw the... <laughs> the sky's got just like rips it into bones. Look, look, look. <laughs> it's brutal. Okay, there it is. Lovely. Okay, have the toy. Enjoy. Enjoy the grow lamp. And have some food. Yeah, it is ripping and tearing. Eat. There we are. Three or more. There we go. So now we've got to finish off all these remaining treats. We've got another six treats to get. Um, yeah, I th wait. Did that work? Oh, that actually did not. Did I miss? Your sky skill is too upset to eat. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to do the other things first? Interesting. Um, maybe you have to put the cleaning bucket on him. Be cleaned. There you are. Oh, I see, yeah. Your sky... Oh, I see, yeah. You can see here, we actually have a little progress indicator over there. Your sky skill is feeling melancholy. Well, I mean, let's see if that's good enough. How melancholy are you? Will you eat something? The sky skull is ravenous, so I think it should work. No, too upset to eat. Maybe you want to be even more clean. Okay, we might have to... I wonder if we have to get the... Maybe we have to get the toys first. Because the sky skull is not happy with me. Uh, show me my progress. The sky skull is melancholy. That's actually very sad. Oh, no. Well. The sky skull does not want to treat. Maybe we want to pet him. I'm going to pet him. Ah, there we are. We pet him, and now he's happy. That's how it works in real life, right, guys? Okay, that'll do. Boom. There we go, see? Quick pet, and we're back in business. Boom, could eat a little. Your sky scale has eaten all she can eat for now. Unfortunate. Well, we cannot force feed the sky scale. <laughs> well, the rest are completely achievement. That's a little unfortunate. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Let's go and get this out of the way first. Let's go and find all these different meats. So we need Karka, Desert Insect, 
Tasty Batwing, Skelk, Spider Leg, and Minotaur. Well, Karka, that's easy. We know where that is. That is South Sun Cove. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I actually miss the good old kind of running around fighting stuff farm, you know? Um, that doesn't really happen in Guild Wars 2. It's all about meta events these days, but I kind of miss the kind of old school MMO. You just go around essentially just farming stuff. Like the champion trains they used to have in the game. Not really so much of a thing anymore, really, um, in Guild Wars 2. It's kind of sad. You know, Frostgorge champ train, like the Plinks event, right? Running around just fighting the Orion mobs, right? It was kind of good. It's, uh, it's kind of good gameplay in a way, right? It's just good just getting out there and blasting, but everything is very scripted in the game currently. Right, dude, what is this noise? What is going on here? <laughs> the Karka is not happy with me. That is dialogue right there. Someone had to make those noises. Wow, the Karka leg is not dropping. I like how our, char our player character respects like the no, the no mount zones. Like, you know what? It would be really convenient if I could use my mount here, but I'm not going to because I respect the rules. There's like a sign up that says, no mounts. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not sure if my... I'm not sure if the character would behave this way. I think I am actually going to do... For one of my next characters, I think I will... Um, I'll do a core playthrough. Because people were like, well, you have to do core playthrough t bottlers. It doesn't count. Uh, so I might just do that. Bonus meme. Remember, we now have Soaring Rescue. So now we can mount in midair, which is quite handy on the Griffin. And that's it. We're so close to 400 mastery rating. 397. You love to see it. You really, really, really do. Okay, Sun's Refuge. Let's hand all that in and then we're done. Hello, Skyscale. Hello? What? Come on. Can I, can I please interact with the sky skull? Would you like this meat? Uh, wait. Come on. There we are. Nice. Okay, have this ball. There we are. Have this food. Boom. Have another piece of food. I like how the sky skull has already said I can't eat anymore today, but actually, I'll have some treats. Classic. That's an absolute classic. Oh, I'm too full. I couldn't possibly eat any more healthy, nourishing vegetables. But you know what? I can have a treat. Okay. Have this toy. There we are. And have a blanket. That's quite sweet, isn't it? There we are. Okay. So, sky scale's done. We just have to wait for the time gate, and that is completely finished. Okay, lovely. So, next order of business is absolutely going to be doing return two. Now, we're actually not going to go that unhinged um, because um, I want to be a little, I want to be a little bit conservative with time. I'm just going to get three out of ten on every single return two. But why would I do this? Well, a really big part of the Skyscale grind is actually getting 250 of every single map currency from Season 4. Anet knew this, and they went, hmm, well, that is actually pretty annoying, isn't it? So they created these return two achievements as basically filler content in the downtime before End of Dragons. But at the same time, they also thought, you know what's really annoying? Yeah, the Skyscale grind. Let's make it really, really easy by giving every single map a completely free um, set of achievements that are incredibly trivial to do that will immediately give players enough currency to get the sky scale and that's exactly what they did and it's exactly what we're going to abuse um to make this really really easy so let's get to it um let's see what do we want to do here we need to do one more thing and bear in mind guys it's a three out of ten so we don't need to actually fully complete this Right? Um, all we need to do is get to tier 3 on every single one. I will go and finish them eventually, always. But seeing as I'm on a bit of a time crunch, I will just actually do um, tier 3 on every single map. I think the best way to go is going to be the race on Sandsort Isles. That should be very quick. So let's go to Sandsort Isles and get that going. That is a race. That'll do. Oh. That's unfortunate. It's actually over. Uh, but I wonder if it will let me just do it anyway. It's a bit tragic, isn't it? Will the race just start again? Because the problem is it's going to finish now. Uh, and there's no way I haven't... Wait, actually, maybe if I... do, I, If I participate in it, is that good enough? 
I don't think it is, but we'll see. It actually is enough. I did not know that. Um, that actually ca- <laughs> All right, all right, okay, okay. So there we are. That is going to be Santa R's done. Let's go to Domain of Corner. I think we're just going to chop some trees and mine some ore in Corner. That's going to be the way to go there. And that should do it. There we go. Boom, done. 250 inscribed shards have now been obtained. So we're making some very good progress there. It is worth noting, by the way, that I am completing this very, very quickly. And the reason for that is because I played through the story, right? Um, so, and I've also done a bit of Palawadan, so Istan was already done, because I did Palawadan a few times. Um, so bear that in mind. However, if you have played through the entire story of the game, kind of getting to the 7 out of 10 or, you know, tier 3, uh, position on this is going to be incredibly easy, actually. It will take you almost no time, so bear that in mind. Right, here we are. Let's get that mastery leveled up so we can keep progressing, actually. Please, just, I wish it would open this in combat, by the way, but it just doesn't. There we are. There we go. I'm a Gryphon expert, apparently, now. Wow. That's crazy. Gryphon expert gaming. So there we are. Now we are mastery rank four. That's it. We just breached it. We just breached 400 mastery points, guys. That's it. 401. So we are less than 50. Well, yes, 54 mastery points to go. Absolutely huge. So we're really catching up. My goal for the day is to actually catch up with our hours played. So I'm 411 hours played currently. And we're going to get over 411 mastery points today. We're accelerating. Yeah, that's it. So we actually have the return to. Very good. You can see that now we have our mystonium. So that's 250 mystonium. So we're done here, actually. Um, that's it. We will go on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next map, I think. Well, yeah, I'm nearly done, guys. You can see how just how quickly, especially when you got boosters on. Look at the look at that. That is crazy. How much XP we're getting here? The Path of Fire marches are so much less grindy um, than the HOT ones. They really, really tone that down a lot. You can see how quickly this is progressing. We're getting like 7k XP uh, per kill as well. I've got all the I've got the uh, XP booster on, so I've got the kill streak booster. I've got all the boosters going. We're completely oh, we're completely unchained. You love to see it. But yeah, we're going to have another five mastery points rocking up very, very shortly. So that does mean we've got to get to work on these Path of Fire mastery points to make sure that we can get the Sky Scale. So let's see if we can find some treasure. And get this adventure done. Adventure Gaming. Ah, there we are. There's the treasure chest. That's the final one we need for the return to. There we go. So now we've done the return to there. That's another thing chopped off. So now we have to go and do this thing. I, I'm not sure if I've... You know what's weird? I'm not totally sure I've ever done this. Uh, no, I must have done because I've done Return 2 on my main. Maybe I did a different achievement, a different um, adventure though. Let's see what this is. Okay. Right. Since you're not pointing any weapons Ooh. at me... Yeah, we're here to help you. You're here to help me I can do that? Four minutes. Okay. You're so what does it want me to do here? So I can strip them. It wants out. me to collect weapons. Okay, that seems not too bad. We have four minutes to do it, to get gold, which is obviously what we want. Okay. Well, let's do that then, I guess. Right. Dredge weapon cache. Boom. Examine. Did I get it? I think I got it. Wait, do we have to... Oh, no, we have, I think we can just cut them all in one go, right? Or do we have to do them one at a time? I imagine we don't have to do them one at a time. That would be kind of annoying. Would Anet really make something that annoying, guys? Would they do that to us? Okay. Oh, we can do it while we're on the mount, too. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go in the water. No! I think the raptor might be good for this. Maybe the skimmer is good for this. Ooh. Okay, another weapon cache. There we are. Good! I think this is skimmer time here. Skimmer into Springer, probably. we got the race music on, guys. I like that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Weapon cache done. Four out of seven. Lovely, 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 lovely. The weapon has been located. Yes. Boom. Run. Okay, now we've got to go back. Okay. 
run the weapons to Sergei as quick as possible. Charge. God damn it. It's skimmer time. Oh. It's not really skimmer time, is it? It's beetle time. Well, now it's skimmer time. I think we can actually get away with this. Yep, there it is. Dude, beetle, I told you guys. This is the shit. Unless you get stuck on a tiny piece of terrain like that. Then it, then, what, what the fuck? I just got it put in combat as well? Okay. Let's go. I think I actually made it in time too. Let's go. Just trying to make you proud, Mom? Are you kidding me? That's actually so sad. The dredge is thinking about his mom. We did it. That should be enough for a while. Look at that. I actually failed. Unfortunate. By 0.7 seconds. Yeah. Sorry you hate to see this, it. Alexi. Well... Go again, I guess. Take this magnet. We go again. Nice. Any weapons at me. Nice. Two fifty-eight. Much quicker. With and with that, comrades. on goal I rating, the Griffin is fully mastered. So Exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and get all the mastery points here while we're at it. Good. Oh wait, what is this actually? Oh, you have to. What does it want us to do here? It's like a little mini game, isn't it? Okay, Niles. You're a long way from home. Oh no, this is actually, oh, this is the, an extra one, isn't it? This is not even an insight. This is like a, a, you have to like play the tune, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the master I was thinking of. It's not an event. Okay, wait, I don't know the ritual. Wait, shit. Guys, I actually don't know the ritual. I, I, I didn't read the instructions, hang on. Okay, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> well? I'm just gonna... <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I might have to run away and then restart this because I have no idea what it wants me to do now. Because uh, I do not know the ritual. Let's crank it up. Lovely. You're a long way from it. What are you doing here? Meditating upon intangibles. Contemplate the infinite. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm running away from my responsibilities. I'm supposed to assist with the resonance crystal ritual, but I have doubts. I look around, I see so much confidence, so much strength in the face of calamity, and here I am afraid of failing. For I'm not good enough. There's so much writing on this. Oh, it's the average Guild Wars 2 player. Nonsense. You're a Zephyrite. You can do this and we need you. But can I? The honest truth, I'm terrible at this flute. And I can't fathom why anyone would entrust me with this responsibility. How can I possibly prepare something like this? Let me borrow the flute. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, what, um, that's actually very interesting. What are we supposed to do here? I wonder if you have to go and do something else, um, to actually find out what you're supposed to press. Because, uh, I have no idea. Maybe you just have to play a bit. Very nice. Okay. Ah, wait, hang on. Let me see. Ah, I think I'm seeing something here. So, what's happening here is there's a note that appears, but also, uh, so that I go red. So if I'm red, I'm definitely wrong. How about this one? Okay, so yellow is wrong. Blue. Okay, so it's blue first, maybe. There, okay, so let's try again. Blue. Red. Okay. Blue, red, yellow. Okay, blue, red, pink. Okay. Green. Okay, blue, red, pink, yellow. Okay, hang on, hang on. Blue, red, pink, yellow, green. 
Um, no, actually, wait. The, the boss was... Th this guy was glowing red, though. So maybe that's not correct. I don't know, so maybe it's not pink. Blue. Red. Yellow. Nice. Thanks for the encouragement, Commander. This is, I don't, yeah, I mean, yep, yeah, that it, that worked. Uh, this is important, I can't give up. Not now. I'll head back to the docks in just a bit. Now if I can remember where I put that practice crystal. There we are, inspired. Inspiration complete. You love to see it. Mastery insight obtained. Oh, dude. This is, um, oh man. This is one of the jade bosses, isn't it? Do, um, do we know which one this is? I, I think it's one of the named ones, isn't it? Yeah, it's a classic. Um, one of the bosses that you end up fighting here, um, from Guild Wars 1. Yeah. Look at that. Sorrow's Cave. Job done. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're done with that. Skyscale is good to go. Return to Thunderhead Peaks is done. I think it's actually time to go and do some Heart of Thorn stuff. Um, specifically some adventures. Okay, boom. I'm a beetle! Okay, got one. Right, so what's this? We can charge in a straight line. I don't think I want to- wait, I want to- yeah, I want to eat the yellow ones. Wait, I think the- do the blue ones give you a power-up? I'm gonna eat a blue one. Maybe it will kill me. Ah, yeah, yeah, you get a power-up. And now we can borrow. Yeah, yeah, that's big, that's big, that's big. Because you can borrow under the, uh, the things here. Let's get all the power-ups. Boom, boom. I wonder if I- did I miss one of the, uh, you gotta be careful not to miss the yellow ones. That's a festering, disgusting mushroom. We don't want that. Okay. Give me the yellow shrooms. Okay, so what's this one? This is dodge. Oh, we can actually shadow step. Oh, it's kind of a... Uh, we'll actually save that, though, because I think you only get one charge. So you don't want to go too unhinged. Oh, yes. We can't gain anything else. Ah! Whoa! There's the dodge. This is a big run. Uh, let's go borrow. That should do it, right? Okay, it did work. We're through. We're through, gamers. I'm in stealth, too. Okay, nice, nice, nice. You gotta keep up the pace here, guys. Watch out for the yellow shrooms. Get Borrow back again. There we are. Yellow mushroom. I wonder if you... I don't think you... I don't think this one is actually super tight, so I think we're fine. Oh, we actually get some stealth in swimming. That's pretty good, actually. Let's do that. I have no idea what my abilities do. We have to get nine more mushrooms to get gold. That seems pretty realistic. Oh, fuck! Go away! Leave me alone! Uh-oh. Right, through here next. Use borrow. Find a magic mushroom. Oh, are you kidding me? Just... It'll work, please. Okay, good, it worked. Imagine if I got stuck in there. That would have been truly tragic. Mushroom... I think I win. Five more. Okay. There's one. Boom. 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 One more. One more. There it is. There it is. Final mushroom. Easy. Nice. You love to see it. Beetle feast gold obtained. I'm a race car. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Right. Which... Let's see. Oh, man. It's been such a long time since I've done this. Dash forward and evade attacks. Use a shield to go invulnerable. And we get a boost here. And I think what happens here is that we can kind of shield through that, right? Yeah, there we go. We're through. Uh, can we use this to just... Oh, no! Oh, no! I fucked up here. You need to... Yeah, you use the... I think this is how it works. Right, let me just test that. Oh. Okay. You use the dash... The... I, oh. You use like the uh, the dash, I think, to go over. Oh, oh, you have to oh, well, you have to aim that. Whoops. Um, you have to use the dash to go over these things. Let me just test that, then we'll reset. Yeah, that is how it works. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go. All right, so yeah, we want to use this, so we can probably use one dash here, right? Oh yeah, you definitely can. Holy shit. We're fast as fuck. Oh, I got in combat, though. That's kind of shit, isn't it? Okay. 
So I think we, we're going to juice up here, and then boom. Okay, maybe not. Trying to go, trying to go too, I want to go fast, guys, you know. I want to try and get some fucking pace, you know. I have a need for speed. I want to use, thing is though, I want to use the ramp, guys. Is what you got to understand. I want to use the ramp. Yes, I made it. So do I need to use the ramp? No. But do I want to use the ramp? Yes. Go, 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 go. Oh no, I used the invuln. That might be a very, very bad decision. Okay, nice. Another ramp. Oh shit. Go! Boom! Alright. Another ramp. Ooh! And there it is. That's another gold rating, I think. Gold rating obtained. Oh, getting this done, though, is uh, definitely a bit of a sigh of relief to an extent. Uh, because the thing here is that this is 4 million experience. That's pretty much more XP than all of this one combined. So that means we're basically through all of the grind. I think I'll do the raid ones last, just because, um, you know, I, I'm not going to raid on this account yet. It's going to be purely to unlock the mastery. It doesn't even count. It's a fake raid. Uh, but we'll do that one last. Yeah, it's plus 12. It would then actually... I think that means I catch up, right? I think it does. This is the moment. 406. Yeah, that takes me to 418. We are about, gamers, to actually overtake. Thank you. Okay. We are about to... <laughs> I meant... We are about to overtake our hours played in terms of mastery points. The moment is upon us. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, fucking lo I love the race ones. I kind of like the racing style adventures the most. They're so good. Oh, thank you. There we are. This is fucking Pog. I love the drone race. I love a fungus among us. You know, it's... <laughs> The name also makes it a million times better. It's just such a ridiculous name. I can't help but enjoy it. But that's it. We're done. Newhawk Alchemy. Not the most useful thing in the universe, but Chalk Acid won't turn us into a goop and we can dodge roll to remove the Chalk Acid now. Plus 12. Mastery rank 418. There it is. We fell behind because I didn't care about mastery points whatsoever. But gliding it's all exalted New York. All of the core HOT masteries done. Now on to ancient magics. Um, and we're gonna have to get ourselves some extra mastery points to do this. Fortunately, I actually have a plan. Um, so first order of business is actually gonna be going to all of the so first order of business is every single mastery insight here. So let's get to it.